All right, the patch notes are live. Let's take a quick look at what we are getting with this update and what the in the survivor being. Codex Survivor Bane is returning new PvP mode Tower War, returning event 42 new legendary items and class balance. I told you guys we getting some class balance. There we go. And feature update and bug fixes. So Survivor Bane is coming back. They have updated the event. But I want to take a look at what we're getting here in the new PvP mode. New Tower War. So what do we have to do here in this tower mode it is coming on 26th of february it will last for one month it will have leaderboard we can get legendary items normal gems material and on some other rewards so this is a pvp mode where we have to capture the towers in order to win interesting i think we already have this mode uh, in conqueror they're just bringing it as a pvp mod there we go and returning event alley of the blood is returning by the way i'm going through this as quick as possible so there might be some mistake here this is my first time taking a look at the patch no so so fire fire before darkness event is a daily task event we can do all clan on deck and 42 new legendary items we'll be going through some of the wizard items here we'll take a more in-depth look later maybe tonight let's dive so they said that wizard will be getting the most buff let's see if that is true the main hand how can we now summon a storm bird that follow you and charge at random enemies interesting we will see if this is any good or not shoulder disintegrate now summon an arcane deputy that follow you and channel a disintegrate beam at anyways this could be something good we are getting skills that follow us and hit enemies around us so mobile skills are always good i like using them and so maybe this disintegrate will be really good with the current mobile builds that we have for the dungeon open world farm we'll be definitely checking this out and then offhand ice armor now we straw the grace of the thunder upon you and your nearby summons so basically we're getting summon skills here and it will be interesting if we can go and use some summon type builds with the wizard which will strike random enemies with lightning again interesting summon builds i have been thinking about destroying my queen shit not sure if i want to do that but most likely i will still destroy it unless the summon builds turns out to be too good anyhow next we have a chest ice armor duration is increased by 30 percent not sure where we can use this maybe in pvp to increase some um, toughness but we still have other option in pvp for a chest in uh, pve we use the chest for the lightning nova that basically done us into a lightning so we can move fast so We'll have to try and see where this chest fits in. Next, we have pants. Damage you take is reduced by 18% while disintegrate is active. So, this will be interesting. We can maybe combine this with a chest piece that also reduce damage and then use disintegrate. We can somewhat get really tanky. Uh, interesting ascend there for the pants and then for the headpiece scorch now summon two scorching serpents that follow you and charge at random enemy causing them to burn all right so summon skills is what we're getting for the wizard we'll definitely have to check them out and see uh, what can be done i will be saving some inferno five wisps to craft the set pieces and check the summon damage uh, how much damage we can do with the summon skill and as for some 
class changes let's see what we get in here barbarian demon hunter and uh, only those classes are getting some class balance no other class gotten any buff or nerf so that is all jump skills we have improvement to prevent jump abilities from being able to exit map this is for demon hunter it is coming back defend the wall some changes to wall defend armory previously using the class change feature would erase all the lord art from your previous class now the armory will save all classes lord art played on your account such a good feature requested by community i'm sure a lot of you guys will love that and then familiar we have made variety of small adjustment to the visual menu associated with familiar to better help player navigate and click tab button this is also going to be interesting that is all it is a small patch the major update will be coming out i believe so three weeks from now and if i go up here and take a look at when we can expect the next update i don't see anything here that the next update is going to be in two weeks or three weeks time so i guess we wait and see and until then we have new legendary essences to play with i'm signing off see you all in the next one you guys have a great day